my god, look at you. Jeez, I would just like... Dear God, if I had one wish, this would be a pair of shears. And I'd snip these, and I'd snip these, and I'd release the hostages. You look... You look amazing. Really? Oh, Jiminy, have you, have you lost weight? I've lost a tremendous amount. Well, I'm doing Atkins now. Atkins? Yeah, his widow, not the diet. Oh. oh, I love, oh, I love her. She's pressing against me in all the right places. Look at this. Sit down here. You're so sexy. Yes. Oh. I met you. Oh, my God. I've had about 19 of these. I love, are you a, are you available later to, to actually do sexual things with? With you and Dixie, or just you and me? Oh, Dixie is in a stupor. She's on about 14 Thorazines a day. She doesn't know. Oh. She thinks Ford is still president. <laughs> she keeps saying, I don't want that Gerald Ford running again. I'd say, absolutely him. <laughs> I give her the bourbon, I give her the pill. Oh. She's very, she's been traumatized since the birth of the twins. Well, okay. So in other words, right. I'm so In other words. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wonderful. You've made so many. I, I, I first fell in love with you in Cape Fear. Yes. I thought you were so fantastic. And De Niro bit you. Yeah, he oh did. Oh, my God. He did. It was... Do, do you find it? What's he like? He, what, what's Bobby What's Bobby like? Well, we call him Bobby if we know him. Yeah, he was yeah. Uh, very intense. Very intense. Very intense. Very intense. How yeah. much did he ever light it? Did he ever stop being no, that first day, that, that first, first day. day. Well, it's a it was, was Bobby De Niro. I was, I was. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I can't help myself. Oh, we're done. Now, I'm sorry I interrupted, but honest to God, when I sit with this kind of sexual energy, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mass of something. Me too. Did I ever tell you that Lou Wasserman glasses like that just make me crazy? Are you serious? Oh my Did God. Did you know Lou Wasserman? I. You, you did what Lou Wasserman? I'm embarrassed to admit, but, but uh, as a child, you know, my grandfather was Melvin Douglas, and he said, if you want to get anywhere in this town, you've got to blow Lou Wasserman. And I did it. You and did? He had those glasses on. And, oh, man, let me get this straight. <laughs> and so now the glasses are, I'm kind of having a sense of You memory. blew Lou Wasserman. I blew him. How old were you? Oh, 13, 14. <laughs> in his office. Well, what, a, what a charming story to reveal on Netflix for the first time. Oh, my God. Who haven't you blown? Uh, no, that, he was the only one. He was the only one. Was the so only that one. was nice advice, especially from a grandpa. Yes. Uh, yeah. Your yeah. grandfather was one of the great actors of all time. Yes, he was. You. I love Melvin Douglas. Yes, I He was too. so wonderful, and he was yeah. so poignant. And the kids today, do they remember him? No. They don't know who Bob Hope was. They don't, Brittany doesn't no. know who David Letterman is. No, they, they think of my grandfather was Kirk Douglas. I get that a lot. Oh, Kirk Douglas. Well, he wasn't. He was Michael Douglas. Yeah. But with a different name. Yes. Exactly. Now, so, so, so at 13, you blow Lou Wasserman, and then you know I'm ready for show business. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. And what was your first thing? Were you a child actress? Uh, I wasn't a child actress. I did a lot of musical theater in... Uh, well, wait a second, I hate to shock you. I don't know whether you... You tell me if you had a stroke or something, but when you do musical theater and you're a child, you are an actress. Yes. It was not It was local regional theater. I wouldn't call it... But you're it. an actress. Yes. What, what do you call an actress, then? Uh... So you've never had a big brain injury where a, a <laughs> pile driver accidentally loaded, unloaded some stuff on your no. Prius? Oh, so this is the way you are. Yeah, that's oh. just me. That's me. <laughs> so, okay, you're a kid, and then what's your first professional job? How uh, it, how gypsy? Gypsy! You yeah. were stripping! I, no, I played Agnes. She was one of the Hollywood blondes. Wow, Hollywood blonde! She was a kid. And then your first movie? First movie, uh, New York Stories. New York Stories with Woody Allen. Uh, I wasn't in Woody's version. I was in the Nick Nolte. Oh, Nick Nagnolte. Yeah. And did he know he was there? Uh, no. No one told him. No. If you don't tell Nick, <laughs> he won't He won't know for sure. Did he arrive on a stretcher in pajamas? He used to wear pajamas. He, well, he liked to or wear... Doctors. A, doctors, <laughs> yes. And he had a gurney. And he, he had a gurney. And they pushed him around. That's right. On a gurney, oh, yes. Oh, God bless true. him. What a, what a wonderful...
look he told, after. And he told me great stories that he worked with Catherine Hepburn. He worked with Catherine Hepburn. Yes. What did he say about Catherine Hepburn? Oh, he said Catherine Hepburn just hated him and said, told him he was a worse drunk than Spencer Tracy. Well, he probably was. I guess he was. So he, he didn't and have... And she to, would know the drunks. And she, she said, I've known drunks in my time, but... But, but you're just, an idiot. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's wonderful. What a wonder this girl's full of stories. If she's not telling us about Catherine Hepburn, she's talking about blowing Lou Wasserman. And this is the kind of the elegance. This is called the old Hollywood. Keep in mind, her, her grandfather was one of the legendary actors of all time. You're an ugly Betty. Yes. What's that going to be like? Uh, you play Sheila. Sheila, yes. Uh, I Well, I'm, I'm poised to take over Vanessa Williams' job. The cast won't like you, I'm sure. Because you're new blood. Usually when you go into a, a series and you're new, they, they would sent you. Yeah, it took so me... So you're going to have to suck up to them. Yeah, it took me a few days, but uh, a few weeks, but... Uh, were they nice to you? They, they were shockingly nice. Nice-ish. They were nice to me. Nice-ish. Vanessa was a little suspicious. Oh, Vanessa. My... Which one's Vanessa? The she's, lead. She's the one I'm replacing. Oh, Vanessa. Well, of course she'd be better. She plays Wilhelmina. Where, why is she leaving? Uh, we don't know. Maybe to start her own magazine. She may be having a child. We don't know. Oh my God in heaven! Well, you 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 you've given everyone joy, and everyone <laughs> loves you, and everyone thinks you're just one of the sex. Do you think cable television's gonna catch on? Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I, I don't. don't. I'm. I. I. I Till last week, I thought TiVo was one of the Jacksons, yes. and I told us the way you can tape things. Yeah, yeah. What's I, that about? I don't know. I don't have it either. It's it's very disturbing. If Lincoln were alive today, would he be pleased with his tunnel? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Don't Mary think... Lincoln was a drunk. Talk about mean. She was mean and mood swinging. I'm not going to the theater. I'm drinking she the was, bourbon. Uh, I heard a story, though. There was a man behind, uh, you know, uh, who sat behind Mr. Lincoln. And, and Mrs. Lincoln is credited by saying to her husband, you know, please aid the guy behind you, ask you to remove his hat. You know, he's getting very angry at you. And he wouldn't remove his and hat. And he wouldn't remove his hat. And well, then to hell with him. And that may be why he was shot. You know? So you think she's a hero? Uh, possibly, yes. Yeah, she warned him. He had the big hat and the person behind him oh, couldn't see. Oh, for God's see. sake. I hate this fact that she wouldn't have done what his wife said. Crazy old drunken Mary. This is an absolute legend, and I love this lady more than life. Let's hear it for Eileen. She is my absolute vixen of love. I adore you. Oh, Jiminy! <laughs> Please come to my room later and do what you did to Lou Watson. Okay.